right, so loan is looking good. Today is March 22nd, 2024. Problem is, oh, the loan is really growing well. Need these loan guys to come here. Uh, problem is, here in Staten Island, New York, there's a variance on our bridge over there. And my property loves cold weather. Lots of craziness up here, lots of wind, uh, lots of branches always falling. But uh, just doing a little bit of stuff here, soil. I'm noticing here too, hmm, I sprayed, got rid of the clovers. I might add a little bit of dirt here. One of the big things on that hump, it needs to be freed up more. It, it's never really good for growing. Uh, I may do something, you know, put the soap in the water, try that, kind of loosen up the soil a little bit. But so far, you know what? It, it is doing well. That stuff is really working, killing off all the crap in the lawn, all the bad stuff. All I do is constantly um, kind of burn all the other stuff, bad stuff that's there. I did down below too. Here, let me zoom in down there. Little sections that I didn't like. But overall, really not that bad this year. I mean, this is all Jonathan Green seed. And I put down some fresh soil, ran out of that peat moss I'd like to do a little bit in here too but I'd also like for the long guys to come and just uh, do a nice little trim this way I could see what is settled because I did this last year this shaping this was done and then this other slope was done I wanted to give myself something um, leveled out over there because I never had it well everything was always on a slope so that's what made that thing very difficult to build also for me you know I'm no engineer i'm just a simple car guy yeah and i think over here is going to need a little help i always notice in here but like i said i would love if the lawn guys will come this way i'll know what i'm dealing with i think i need probably hmm, i'll go more i'll probably get another 10 bags of soil maybe i could find a smaller peat moss so i don't have that big one but you know maybe i'll just get the bigger one and that should be done here. I don't even know if I need 10. Maybe that's a little overkill. But uh rather have more than less sometimes. Other than that, it's really just about cleaning everything up and getting ready for the season. This uh, walkway here usually has a problem. Well, you know what? It probably will because right now it's cold and the weather's right for the grass. But come summer... This is usually takes a real beating, but I did install two sprinkler heads in here to shoot straight. One's on that side. Where's the other one? There it is, right in there. Right here where my foot is. So, this is all here. I have a lot of weird property, in a sense. A lot of maintenance. I gotta clean this all out in there. Huh. I put all rocks underneath there. I don't know. Maybe I should rock the whole thing. I have the front fascia rocked. I don't know. I guess I might have to rock the whole thing also. It just makes it easier. Here's this. On this side. I'm trying to get that to grow nicely. Here's the rock that I did under there. And this side always has a lot of shade. This ugly fruit tree. I hate it, but it is what it is. I guess it's got to stay. Yeah. So it, I always have a hard time over here growing the grass. You can see that this soil definitely is compacted again. Why? I don't know. This is all fresh. This I all did last year. I regraded and everything. I got that side too. Just down there I actually uh, fixed some stuff. I actually put sprinklers down there. I don't know if you can see the sprinkler head right at that cut. But there's a sprinkler head right there by that leaf also at the end by the curb. <laughs> there's um, one here. And I'm going to go right here. Let's see if I can. There we go. There's the other one right there. These are pretty cool because what's going to happen is it's going to spray that whole zone. And then it's going to spray forward. And then when these idiots with their dogs are walking, I'm going to hit them. It's going to be great because I actually have it on an automatic app here that I could turn it on at any given point. And then, of course, I got cameras so I could see when they're walking their dogs and crapping on my lawn because that's what uh, people with dogs do. Yes, they do. Oh, not my dog. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. That tree over there, I had to put some more soil into it. 
That's why I got that line there. It, I don't know. It was. It's just bending. It's not taken in the ground. So I stuffed up about a bag or two of soil, try to compact it down. Today I did that also. Ah, a lot of work when you have a house. All that crap over there is mine. All those trees. Just a lot of maintenance here on this property. It looks great. Come April, oh my God, this thing is gonna look beautiful. But when the super hot weather hits, that's when things get like, oh. But I managed to uh, kind of put a, I managed to put sprinklers basically everywhere, heads, and try to make sure everything is watered. It would take me a good hour to water this whole property all the time. So I'm trying to really cut down on that because it's very annoying having to do all this stuff. Of course, I'm going to have to water a couple things like these sort of things, but that will dramatically cut down. All oh, that has water sources. This does not. This doesn't. But I have the hose over here. This stuff all has water in here. This I'll have to water too. Uh, actually, you know, there is a sprinkler head in there, but it doesn't matter. It's right by the sprinkler. All this is mine. Yeah, lots of stuff. A lot, a lot of trees. A lot of shrubs. You name it. It's crazy how many pieces there are here. So, that's that.